Hi, I'm going to show you how to cover a wooden bead, a 14 millimeter wooden bead with peyote stitch. Okay, so um, I've used them here to make some cherries. You can obviously incorporate them into jewelry. So there's quite a few things you can do with them. And the kit I'm using is number MUXC95. Okay, comes with all the wooden beads and five tubes of uh, seed beads, size 110 seed beads. I'm also using some six pound black fire line thread and I'm using a size 10 beading needle. Right, so the wooden beads that you get in the kit are really great because they're not varnished in any way. So they're just natural, which means they're porous. So you can just use an ordinary permanent marker to turn them into whatever color you wanted to. Um, so I've just painted this one or colored this one in red with a red permanent marker. Um, you don't have to, I mean with a peyote stitch you can't see the bead through that much. This one isn't colored in. Um, but if you wanted to, you can do that. Okay, I'm going to use this bead to show you how I made it because you can see better on that one what I'm doing. And I'm also using three different colors of my seed beads. Again, so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. So I've threaded my needle with about four feet of thread. You probably won't need quite as much, uh, but it's better to have a bit extra. Okay, then I'm going to start by picking up five of my purple beads. Okay, and I haven't got to stop a bead on because I'm going to bring these down to the end. I'm going to go through all of them again, okay, and then I'm going to tie my thread into a knot to bring those together into a circle, okay. I like to tie three knots because two knots can sometimes slip and come loose while you're working on it, so if you want it to be really secure, just tie three knots, okay. Then you're going to go through your first bead after your knot. So that your thread isn't coming out of the knot. Now when I go through the next bead, I, I don't like to pull it very tight. Because then your knot goes inside your bead. Which makes it very difficult to go through that bead again with your needle. So I like to leave my knot in between the two beads there. Okay, and I'm coming out of the bead after the knot. Okay, now I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm going to add in another purple bead in between each of these first five purple beads. So this is my second round now, I'm adding another five purple beads in this round. I'm going in between each of them. So this at the beginning here is not actually PIT stitch yet because I'm adding a bead in between the existing five beads. Okay. to the very next one okay now when you add your last one okay go through your last bead in your first five and then you're going to step up so you're also going to go through the first one in your outer circle that you added okay so now my thread is coming out of one of the little points here it looks kind of like a little star okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to add, I'm going to switch to the next color now. Now you're going to essentially be doing peyote stitch, but you're picking up two beads every time. So pick up two greens, jump over to the next one that's sticking out. So now in this round, in my third round, I've actually got 10 beads now because I'm putting two in between each of the five beads that are sticking out there. Okay, just keep going around. Add two beads between each of the purples that are sticking out. It's quite flat at this moment, but that's what you need because this is the bottom of your bead or the top, depending on which way you look at it. <laughs> okay, so go through the last purple and go through the first green that you added. Okay, to step up. Right, so now I've got my third round, which is 10 green beads, okay? And now I'm going to do another round with the green beads, because I'm going to have 10 beads again. But this time I'm putting one bead in between each of the existing green beads, okay? So I picked up a green, I'm coming out of this green here, I'm going to go through the next green, okay? 
picking up a green again, going through the very next green, okay, picking up a green again, through the next green, just keep going like that all the way around. So now you're adding in this round 10 green beads again. Okay, it's all still quite flat. Okay, nearly there. Don't worry if there's a bit of thread showing. Okay, just pull it as well as tight as you can. You need to keep your tension a little bit tight, but it doesn't have to be tight, tight. Okay, so this is my last one. So I'm going through the 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 green in the in the previous round, and the first green I added in this round. So I'm stepping up again. So go through that green and that green there. Okay, right, so that's my second round with the green, and I've got 10 beads around the outside. Okay, now I'm going to do the same again. So now again, I'm picking up one green bead each time, and I'm putting it between the greens that are sticking out. So now this is starting to be peyote stitch now. Okay, so I've got my sticky out beads. And I'm putting another bead in between each of the ones that are sticking out. Now at this point you'll see if you pull it tight that it starts to cup a little bit to curve around your bead. Okay, just keep going all the way around. Just remember when you started you had five beads and you had two rounds with five beads each. Then you need to do three rounds of ten beads each. Okay, so now this is my third round with the green beads, which are ten. Now this is my last gap here. So again I'm going through the last green and stepping up to come out of the first one in my current round. Okay. So now I should have 10 beads sticking out. So you can check that you've done all of them if you count and you've got 10 beads. Now at this point, if you pull it tight and just squish the middle in a little bit, you see that it's starting to curve a little because it's going to go around your bead like so. Okay. Now what you're going to do, I'm going to switch to the red beads now because in this round we're going to have 15 beads. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up one red bead, go through the next green that is sticking out, okay, then you're going to pick up two red beads, and you're going to go through the next one that is sticking out, okay, then you're going to pick up one again, and you're going to go through the next green. So you're going to alternate between picking up one red and picking up two reds. Okay, this way you're adding another five, five beads into your round, so you'll have 15 beads going all the way around at this point. So now I've added two there, so now I'm adding one. Okay, then I'm adding two again. Then I'm adding one. Two again. one okay and then your last gap you should be adding then two beads okay so that's my last gap and then I'm stepping up again through the first red that I added okay so now I'm coming out of my single red bead there so now if you've done it correctly you should have 15 red beads going around okay put it tight again so that it starts to cup up a little bit you see it's cupping a little bit more now Okay, and then 
you're going to carry on as PIT stitch, normal PIT stitch. So now I'm picking up a red bead, going through the next red one that's sticking out, picking up a red bead again. Just make sure you go through every one of the red beads at this point, okay, in the second round, and add another red bead in between all of them because in this last round you had 15 red beads. You need to have 15 red beads again in this second round of red beads. Okay, so you're putting one red in between each of the existing red beads. Just treat each of those as if it was a sticky outy bead in peyote stitch. So this is your second round of 15 beads. You're gonna after this round, you're going to carry on in exactly the same way until you've done 11 rounds of 15 beads. Okay. So I'll show you in a second when I get there. This is my second round. So this is my last gap here, so I'm going through the, that red and the first red in my current round again. So I'm stepping up. Don't forget to step up each time. Okay. So now again I should have 15 red beads which are sticking out around the edge. You can see it's starting to cup quite nicely now. And as you carry on with normal peyote stitch, it's going to start growing uh, it's going to stay the same size and it's going to start growing this way okay so just get that started and then I'll show you so now you've, it's quite easy because now you've got all your sticky outy beads so now each time again you're picking up one red going through the next one that's sticking out now make sure at this point that your tension is quite tight because you don't want it to be all kind of loose around the edges with lots of thread showing so just keep it quite tight and just do normal peyote stitch all the way around. Okay, so this is my third round. And as I said, you need to have 11. So I'm just going to carry on. And I'm going to do about three more rounds after this one. So until I've got six rounds. And then I'll come back and show you. Because there's something else you need to know before you finish your 11 rounds. Right. So now I've done five rows here. Now on this particular uh, cover, because I'm using different colors of beads, it's quite easy to count how many rows you've done because you just count in a diagonal row. I've done one, two, three, four, five rows of the red beads. Okay. But a little tip, if, you, if your whole cover is going to be the same color, it's very difficult to count which are your rows that have got the 15 beads. So what it did was every time I finished a round, I put a little bead to one side. I finish the next round and I put another bead and then when I've got 11 beads I know I've done all my um, my red beads now at this point I've got five I've got five beads there so the only thing you need to know now is at this point you need to put your bead in position okay um, you can swivel it around a bit later as well but you you might forget so the best way to do it is to make sure that your hole of your bead is sitting on the hole in your beading okay and try to hold it in that position so I just hold it like that and then work around um, like I say a few few rows further down you can still swivel it around so if you're if, you, if the hole moves out of position then don't worry about it too much at this point you can still just make sure that you've got it later on in the right place okay now the reason you need to hold your bead in the right place is because if you carry on without your bead at this point and you keep pulling it tight then you won't be able to get your bead in place later on so now at this point I just put my bead in and then I carry on with my peyote stitching around the outside as I've been doing before. So the only difference is here I'm holding my wooden bead in position in the middle of my work as I'm stitching around. Okay, so I've done five rows so far, so you need to do another six Okay, so I'm just going to do that quickly and then I'll come back. 
right so as you see I've done 11 rows of my red okay I've got my 11 beads over there okay and now you'll see that the 15 beads in a round is starting to be a little bit gappy it's not covering your bead very closely anymore so this is another way that you'll know that you need to start bringing your your beads closer in and reducing the number of your beads now at this point just make sure that your hole is in the right place okay so you can get your head pin through it or whatever it is you're going to use uh, because later on you won't be able to spin it around anymore okay and you can see that the, the beading is now holding the wooden bead in position quite tightly because your beading becomes a bit looser in the middle where it's the widest and then it comes in tighter again this, this is why you can't get your bead in at this point so if your bead isn't in there yet you won't be able to get it in okay so now I'm going to switch to the green again because we need to bring in the beads the same as we did the other side but in the opposite direction okay so now we need to reduce these 15 beads down to 10 so I'm going to switch to the greens okay now I'm going to add one green bead okay then I'm going to skip over the next gap okay I'm not adding any bead in there okay make sure your tension is really tight at this point because you want to pull it all in okay then I'm going to add another green into the next gap and another one okay then I'm skipping one again Pull your tension nice and tight okay so essentially I'm skipping every third gap putting in two green into the gaps and then skipping one okay then put another green and another green and then skip one and then put another green and another green skip one and then put in another green make sure your tension is really tight at this point okay so put in your last green and step up through that first green there that you added And you'll see you've now got 10 green beads there to carry on with your peyote. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, now we need to do three rounds the same as we did on the other side using 10 beads. Okay, so now I'm going to carry on with a green. So I'm going to pick up a green. I'm going to jump to the next green. It looks like an awfully big gap there, but don't worry about that. Jump to the next green. Okay, then pick up a green again into the next one. Now you're going through every single one of the greens in your previous round. Okay, because you're keeping the number of beads the same. Okay, just pull your tension really nice and tight. Through the next one. And the next one. It helps if you count your beads as you're adding them. So here I've added one, two, three, four, five. Then you'll know when you got to the end of your round. So this is six. This is number seven. Number eight. Put it really tight. Number nine. Okay, and then my last one is number ten. Okay, and then don't forget to step up through the first green that you added in this round. Okay, so there's my ten new beads there, ten beads sticking out. Okay, so there I've got two rows now in the green, so I need to do a third one. So picking up a green again, and make sure you step into the next sticky outy bead, not the bead in the previous round. Okay, so in this round now I've got one bead, two, three, Six, 
seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Okay, so you put in your tenth one and then step up. So now I've still got 10 beads there, but my uh, my space is getting smaller and smaller. Okay, now at this point you need to switch to your five beads again, like on the other side. So I'm going to do the purple now. Okay, now you need to reduce your 10 beads down to five. So obviously you're going to do the same thing again, but you're going to skip every second one. So you're going to pick up a purple, go through the next green that is sticking out. Okay, then skip over the next gap, go straight through. The next green which is sticking out okay then add a purple okay then skip one then add a purple again skip one Add another purple. Skip. And your fifth purple. Okay. Now you need to step up, but don't forget, you need to skip this last gap here. So go through the, that last green after you've skipped over the gap. Okay. And go through your first purple to step up okay so now you've got five purple beads there okay and then we did two rounds of five beads at the bottom so we need to do another round of the purples here so I'm picking up one purple going through the next purple I'm putting one purple now between each of the purple ones that are there so that's one two three five okay now you need to step up one last time into there okay because now what you're going to do is to pull this together a little bit more because can you see the hole is a little bit too big there is you're just going to go through those five that you've just added so the five beads in the middle round because when you started your five beads originally were joined together essentially because you started with five beads in a circle and get your tail thread caught okay so go through all of the five new beads which are essentially all sticky out two beads now you can go through them a couple of times just make sure you've gone through all of them at least once okay pull it tight okay and that's the middle of your bead finish there okay so that's your bead covered really nicely in peyote stitch and just finish off your thread go through back and forth a few times just to make sure it's it sits really tightly okay and that's it